Today we're at Wyawichen Park, which is co-managed by the nation and District of North Vancouver. Because Broward Inlet is such a busy area, both industrially and development-wise, there's a lot of invasive species coming in. The shellfish species that's being harvested right now is an invasive species, since the native species are not at a level where a sustainable harvest can occur. On the terrestrial side of things, there's knotweed and blackberry and hogweed. We're here in the Squamish Nation territory in Mosquito Creek Marina. Well, right here we have the Himalayan blackberry, and that's what we're dealing with now. One of the issues we deal with is removal of this stuff. Where does it go? We, want, we don't want to be transferring risk to another area. The access is lost to beaches, streams, and systems where it's called harvest. We have a family on Chihuahua First Nation seriously impacted by Japanese knotweed. An elder in the community required the assistance of an ambulance called 911, had been waiting at his house for more than 30 minutes and the ambulance could not find his driveway or his home. The knotweed created this barrier where his house was just totally invisible from the highway. My introduction to invasive species was seven years ago. It started with Japanese knotweed on our lease lands and found out that it was in about six other locations. We're worried about the giant hogweed because you know we have a lot of children in the area, a lot of people frequent to the area, so it's a big issue for us because it can burn your hands and it's toxic. We used to have um, picnic tables, you know, and community and then these areas for people standing outside the church. It's just not accessible. So it's alienated out the natural habitat, but also alienated uh, the use and benefit of the area for the community. It can restrict access to harvesting sites. It can destroy native species and plants that you rely on, and it can destroy a wildlife habitat and affect your ability to go harvest moose and deer. Flavototh Nation has a variety of habitat restoration projects across the whole traditional territory. One of those sites is McCartney Creek. We did a stream restoration in that area and then native planting on either side of the creek and we're slowly expanding out and eradicating the invasive species and planting native species on top of it. Two years ago we had a infestation of hogweed going up from the north of the reserve here. So we got the local Invasive Species Council to come down here and clean it up. But the hogweed now is pretty much uh, taken care of. So on that side here, we, we took a lot of the cement, debris and garbage out, putting in stumps and logs and such as this, so the, the young emerging fry can hide from the predators in there. But also you're bringing back the natural attributes of mother nature. So we're out here today at the Larry Joe property and this is the property that we're treating for Japanese knotweed. This property and the driveway was completely surrounded by knotweed when we first started this project. Now that we're into year three of this project, we're actually able to see some of the results here. It is important to address the spread of invasive species through prevention. This is a marine area and a lot of invasive species historically have come in through ballast water. And addressing that before they enter is so important because often once an invasive species becomes established, your only strategy is management. So you can save yourself a lot of time and energy and money if you can prevent the species from coming in in the first place. Collaboration is essential in regards to First Nations working with the outside communities and experts because we're not experts in this and, and certainly understanding the significance of it and getting our people trained up to be able to deal with this stuff. I think it's really hard to point at one certain person, one certain organization or one certain group and say, hey, you're responsible for this. Because of that, I think it's important that Communities need to work together and collaborate to find solutions that will work for everyone. Education to the community is critical that we're finding in Powell River. We can network with each other and communicating like what invasive species are and pointing them out and just kind of showing community members like the pamphlets so then they're aware of how to try and learn to how to tackle it. We have published an excellent booklet called the Aboriginal Community Toolkit for Invasive Plant Management. So that's a great resource for uh, Indigenous nations that'll get them started and give them ideas. It's starting to get the attention that it deserves. People are becoming more aware of the issue and the ISCBC is a big part of that.